Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another Launchbox video and today this one's going to be a little different because in this one we kind of wanted to cover everything that happened in 2021 with Launchbox and Big Box. This is our Launchbox 2021 year in review. So with that said, we're going to be starting out with January and in January 2021, we introduced a major improvement to the main full set end porter. And this is one of my favorite features about Launchbox. I haven't seen anything else like this with any other front end on the market right now. It really just alleviates the headache of getting your main games up and running on your x86 PC. And since this is inside of Launchbox and Big Box, we have a really nice front end to start our games up from. We also introduced the Xbox and Microsoft Store game end porter, and this would just make it a lot easier to get those games you already have installed on your Windows PC over into Launchbox to get a nice front end to use them with. February and March were a bit lackluster, so let's go ahead and move over to April. And this is the month we added the new wall views to Big Box. There's a huge amount of flexibility here, and the theme developers or theme creators have been doing an amazing job with this since then. And I think one of my favorite features here is the ability to use videos in the wall view. So as you can see here, when I scroll over a game, we got that video pop up and everything looks really nice. And since we've added this, I've seen a lot of theme developers really take advantage of these wall view videos. And keep in mind, with all these new releases throughout the year, there's always new improvements and fixes. So I'm just kind of highlighting the new stuff that was added to Launchbox and Big Box. And when it comes to June, we added the controller management system with badge support. That way we can easily identify which games use which controllers, and these can be totally customized. You can actually download a few packs over on the forum if you're interested. But I personally really do like the stock badges that were included with this new controller management system. Moving over to July 2021, we added multi-sound pack support. That way we can actually have a random sound play every time we're inside a big box scrolling through. You can set this up for a single sound, or you can set it up to be totally random. August was actually a pretty big month if you're an Android user because we reintroduced Launchbox for Android once again, but this time we've got a ton of new features and a whole new look. I'm a huge fan of this. I got it installed on all of my Android devices, my phones, my Shield TV, and my tablets. And along with this release, we also reintroduced the Android export inside of Launchbox for PC. So with the Windows version of Launchbox, we can easily export our collection over to a format that's easily usable with Launchbox for Android. October was actually a big month for new feature releases. We got the dark theme with the Launchbox. Looks really good in my opinion. We got the new cleanup utility, which actually allows us to choose a platform to clean up so we don't have to do, you know, a media cleanup on every single game at one time. This just makes it a lot faster. Plus, we got the addition of marquee videos for Big Box. And real quick, I also wanted to mention something that kind of falls right in line with that new dark theme. We also have the ability to customize the accents inside of Launchbox here. When it comes down to my favorite new features for Launchbox and Big Box in 2021, it's got to be the November update. This is when Launchbox and Big Box got RetroArch integration. And basically what this does is automatically set up RetroArch for you. So if you're a new user, you can be up and playing your favorite retro games, I mean within a matter of minutes, maybe even seconds if you're only importing a few games at a time. It'll automatically download RetroArch and download the correct course per system. In the past, what we had to do was manually download it from the website, put it in the correct location, point Launchbox to it, but now it's fully automated. And like I mentioned, if you're a new user, this is going to be the easiest way to get up and playing your favorite retro games. And finally, moving over to December, we've introduced GOG Achievements. It lets you track your achievements directly from within Big Box and Launchbox. We've also introduced a new playtime tracker. Now, when it comes to your Steam games, it's going to pull that information directly down from Steam. But when it comes to our retro games, it's going to track this all inside of Launchbox and Big Box. And this has actually been asked for for a very long time. And we've finally gotten around to getting this implemented into the system. Another big thing that's happened in 2021 for Launchbox and Big Box are the addition of 50 new themes from these theme developers. We got 50 of them in 2021. They're all listed over here on the website. I will leave a link for that in the description in case you're interested in checking any of them out. But when it comes down to it, these theme developers are absolutely amazing. We got Crispy4000, Hazuke, Retro808, Raviol, Marion S3, Ninja Man, Shro2016, Juketsu, Daz, C Beats, Jay's Arcade, Jahaze0027, Fry, Rincewen, 
Rob G, GVL, Surfton, and Paw Paw. If your name wasn't listed, totally sorry about that. I did go through the list here for all of the themes that were released in 2021. And you guys are such a big part of Launchbox and Big Box for coming up with these awesome themes. I mean, we got 50 of them released in 2021. Like this killer theme by our very own Farron. This is called Retro Mags, and this is actually the first time that I've been using it. This is an absolutely beautiful theme here. We've got those old retro mags. Everything loads in right on top, and it just looks absolutely amazing. I also wanted to show one more off here. This is by Juketsu, known as Pulse, and it's a very minimalistic design. I really love the way I got this set up right now. There's several different ways that you can have this set up. But uh, as you can see, got my box art on the bottom there. Everything scrolls through really nicely, kind of slides out. Got that box art in the background, all of our information. A very, very clean theme. Another thing that these developers have been putting out are startup themes and pause themes. And this is something that I personally don't utilize as much as I should. But if I go ahead and start this game up here, this is a custom startup theme by Hazuki called Starting the Game. I think this is really nice. And we also have those pause themes. So what I have set up right now is a pause theme by Retro808. This is actually based off of the Pulse pause theme. And yeah, I really love these. And like I mentioned, I personally don't even utilize these enough. But we have a ton of them over on the forum, and I do want to give all the developers a big shout out because this really does add to the big box experience. And speaking of the big box experience, we also have a launch box experience, so why not treat yourself to a new launch box theme? As you can see, I've totally changed the look of my launch box setup here, and I personally do spend a lot of time inside of launch box. This theme is by Raviol, and it's known as LB Galaxy or Launch Box Galaxy. Very clean design here. I personally really like the way it's set up, and it definitely adds a whole new dimension to launch box because, like I mentioned, I do spend quite a lot of time in launch box, so why not? change it up a little bit. So yeah, LaunchBox had a great year in 2021. Lots of improvements, new features, fixes, and like we talked about, we even brought LaunchBox over to Android. But none of this would be possible without you guys. The LaunchBox community. It's definitely the bread and butter of this front end, and we just want to thank you guys for an awesome 2021, and we're looking forward to showing you what we have in 2022. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and would love to know what your favorite feature of 2021 is. If you could, leave us a comment down below. And like always, thanks for watching.